for Fall Guys finally being added to the Fortnite map to a event timer signaling the end of Chapter 5 Season 3. There is a good amount of content that we need to talk about for the final update of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3, including some new skins and even some collaborations. What are those collaborations you might ask? Stay tuned throughout the video to find out what they are. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to smash the like button because I am trying to test out some new forms of videos that hopefully you guys will enjoy. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and ring the bell to join the notification squad. And without further ado, let's just jump into the game and talk about it. As I was recording this video guys, a massive bombshell of events happened that's going to fundamentally change the way we see cosmetics forever in Fortnite. For those who are not aware, on August 6th, the same day that the update dropped, at the 8 p.m. item shop refresh, we saw the return of Paradigm, which is an exclusive skin that was released around the end of it of Chapter 1 Season X. This caused a lot of shock within the Fortnite community, and within an hour later of the Paradigm being in the item shop, it was immediately removed. And as you can see in the gameplay, I bought the Paradigm in time. After the skin was removed from the item shop, Fortnite status would go ahead and tweet, Due to a bug, we unintentionally bought paradigm back into the item shop and have since removed it within the week we will be removing paradigm from recent purchasers lockers and refunding the purchase as this was a limited time exclusive outfit during chapter one season x after fortnite put out that tweet an immense amount of backlash happened and it caused the paradigm to trend on twitter and then a few minutes later fortnite will backtrack on this statement and they will post another post that i'll put on the screen that says change of plan Bought the Paradigm tonight? You can keep her. Her accidental return to the item shop is on us. So if you purchase the Paradigm during this evening's rotation, you can keep this outfit and we'll refund your V-Bucks soon-ish. We plan to create a new variant of the Paradigm that will grant exclusively to people who purchased the original outfit. Original purchasers will also have the re option to refund this item if they like. And as of recording this video, I already got my 1200 V-Bucks back. And if you guys bought the Paradigm during the item shop refresh, you guys will get your V-Bucks too. You should have them by now. Now, this wasn't the most insane part of the... As insane as Paradigm returning, being revoked from players and then changing their minds and not being revoked from players wasn't crazy enough, Fortnite would drop another massive bombshell on us on Twitter this morning saying incoming battle pass update items in future fortnite battle passes may be offered for purchase in the shop after 18 or more months from a battle pass expiration and i have a link to the fortnite website which i'm gonna read some of it right here items in future fortnite battle passes might be offered for purchase in the fortnite shop after 18 or more months from the battle pass expiration a battle pass item may include a different number of its alt styles each time it comes to the shop. This change lets us continue investing in new and exciting rewards while enabling players down the road to also enjoy the content, including outfits based on popular licensed characters. Battle pass benefits stay the same. Pages of unlockable rewards can use across one or more Fortnite experiences. You'll still be able to progress in the battle pass by playing any experience that grants XP. And of course, the article goes on to answer some questions that people may have about this massive change. But this is huge. As someone who's missed out on a lot of collaborations due to them being locked in battle passes, I'm saying this is a major step forward in the future of Fortnite and how they deal with cosmetics like this that get locked in battle passes. And I hope that eventually, as time goes on, Fortnite will be able to release some old crossover skins that were around in older battle passes i think that's good this is a major news story in fortnite it's going to change the way that we see cosmetics forever and i genuinely cannot wait the first piece of content that i want to talk about that actually released on this update intentionally is that fortnite reload underwent some loot changes and i'm going to put up the tweet by fortnite status which says reload players we've made some adjustments to the loot pool today here are the changes the items that were unvaulted are the rapid fire SMG, charged shotgun, burst assault rifle, and the cowboy repeater rifle. Alongside those items unvaulted, items that were vaulted in the Fortnite reload loot pool include the Stinger SMG, the Thunder Pump Shotgun, Heavy Assault Rifle, and Infantry Rifle. Now, in my opinion, guys, I don't think this is particularly the best loot pool change in Fortnite Reload, but I am still happy to see that there is support in Fortnite Reload, and I'm very excited to see what they do next, especially with the rumors that the Chapter 1 Desert Biome is coming to the Fortnite Reload map soon. 
Another big change to the loot pool is in regards to Battle Royale, and that is that the minigun was added to Battle Royale. Now, we've seen teasers of a minigun, which looked like it was a Nitro version of the minigun throughout the season, and we were hoping that we would get that version of the minigun, but it appears that we got the original minigun in the loot pool for the rest of the season. And speaking of Fortnite Battle Royale, the highly anticipated Fall Guys collaboration is now live on the Fortnite Battle Royale map. You will see a Fall Guys course outside of Classic Courts, and Classic Courts surrounded by six Fall Guy Bean statues. In order to get on the obstacle course, you need to either interact with these statues or land on top of the Fall Guys course, and these courses have a limit of eight beans per session. Once you're on the course, you'll be able to complete a simple obstacle course, and you'll have a 60 second timer with gold tier loot, silver tier loot, and then bronze tier loot. And if you can't complete it with any, any of those time limits, you will get no loot. But if you do, you'll get loot varying from gold being the best to some blue items. Alongside the Fall Guys stuff being live on the Fortnite Battle Royale map, there are also some Fall Guys quests, which I will show on the screen right here, that you can complete, which are very, very simple. That can get you some cool Fall Guys cosmetics, such as a Fall Guys jam track and a Fall Guys back bling for your character. Now, in my opinion, I think this is a really cool little collab. I don't know if you guys were playing during this time, but it kind of gives me the energy of the World Cup Stadium being next to Junk Junction for about a week of that season. So it's kind of giving me that vibe a little bit, but I really enjoy it. And I think it's like an interesting way to spice up the game and get you some awesome loot. Now, there was not a lot of leaked cosmetics that were decrypted in this last update. However, I'm going to leave a video in the description below from Fortnite Leaker Hype X that showcases some of the leaked cosmetics that were in this update. And now that we talked about those cosmetics, I'm going to talk about the collaborations that is coming at the end of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. The first collaboration is another wave in the Dragon Ball collaboration as they are adding Android 17 and 18 from the anime, which I've seen the skins. They look very awesome and I cannot wait to see them in game. I believe that the skins drop August 10th and the item shop. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm seeing on Twitter. And the other collaboration that I'm very excited for is that they're adding some of the X-Men into Fortnite. Those X-Men include the leader of the X-Men, Cyclops, Jubilee, and Colossus. And the date that I'm seeing floating around on Twitter is that these skins are going to launch August 12th or around that range at least. Now I am very excited for both collaborations. I'm excited to see another wave in the Dragon Ball collaboration. Love to see that Fortnite is continuing that partnership well with the Dragon Ball franchise. And I am also excited to see some of the X-Men skins come into Fortnite as we've already had some notable X-Men characters such as Mystique, Storm, and Wolverine. So it's very cool to see more X-Men coming, especially these popular X-Men characters. As many speculated these characters were going to be in the Marvel Battle Pass for Chapter 5 Season 4. The last piece of content that I want to cover in this video is that there is an event timer at Brutal Beachhead, which is signaling the end of Chapter 5 Season 3. Now this event countdown right here counts down to Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern timing. Now this is very exciting to see. You know, we've seen the lore of Megalodon getting Nitro for his ship already. And there are already files for this event in the game, which I'm not going to cover here as they are spoiling the end event. But if you guys want to see that, feel free to check on social media for those leaks as I'm not going to be talking about them right here. But I am very excited about the event and I'll definitely try to get a live stream out reacting to the event if I can. And that's all the notable pieces of content that I'm going to talk about in this Fortnite update. Now obviously, there's some smaller pieces of content like Lego Fortnite updates and Fortnite Festival updates, but on this channel I mainly talk about Fortnite Battle Royale and Fortnite Reload. And leave a comment down below of what you guys think about the update and the ongoing situation regarding Battle Pass exclusivity. And click this video right here because YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.